Welcome back to Swix Classroom. Today we're working on Jerusalem. Let's check it out. We're starting off with a blank project. We're gonna add a lot of drum tracks to accomplish all those intricate rhythms, so let's just get to it. We're gonna create a drum beat and go to red. The bass drum pattern is just every four clicks, and we're gonna drag that out. Let's listen to what that sounds like. If you'd like, you can go into effects, and you can see here, they already have some things, but I'm gonna add an equalizer, and I'm gonna pull off some of that high end, some of that ticky tacky sound that you're hearing at the very top, and take that down so it sounds a little bit rounder. Still hearing a little too much, I might go back and take some more off. Fantastic. The next track we're gonna add is just plain vanilla. Go to the hi-hat closed and draw a line straight across. When we get there, something we haven't done before, let's go into the piano roll. And we're gonna zoom in, and when we can see each one clearly, in this corner over here, we're gonna change to what looks like a V for velocity. And we're gonna see beat one, if we click on it, it says velocity 127, which is the maximum. So I'm gonna go to the number two and drag it down, three, four. And it doesn't really matter what number, as long as it's less, because we want this to sound natural. We want beat one, two, three, and four to be loud, and the other notes to be slightly softer. So this is beat two, it's a nice 127. I'm gonna drag these down. And the reason I don't wanna be too accurate, again, this one's gonna be loud, and the next three will be soft. The reason you don't wanna be too accurate is because you want it to sound almost human-like. This one's gonna be loud, soft, soft, and soft. If they were all the same, it would very much sound like a computer, but now, there's a little bit more inconsistency, which is gonna help make it sound uh, like a human being, like a human being playing it. We're gonna drag that out. We're gonna take the volume way down, because we don't really wanna hear, this is not a leading sound in this song. And then even then, I'm gonna go and turn the reverb up. To try and wash out that hard attack, so just kind of a more wishy-washy sound. Very driving. The next track is Vanilla again. On this track, there's two ways to go about this. We can go to the instrument and you're gonna find J and D. So J over there, it doesn't really have anything assigned to it other than it's a cool sound. There's a small difference between the first and second time. The first time we have four notes in a row, but the second time there's only three. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. Let's start by recording the part, and if it doesn't work out, we can fix it in the piano roll. Make sure your metronome's on, press record. J and D, here we go. That's all we need to do. Let's go into the piano roll and quantize to the 16th note. Excellent, let's give it a listen. Fantastic. So the real tricky part is the second half where we have a hit on J and then I'm gonna zoom out so we don't see our 16th notes and then there's two blank spaces and then J again. So J does not land on beat four, it's the beat right before four. The second time around, instead of four notes in the beginning, we just delete this fourth one. That one's gone and then this is the same where we have one on beat one, skip, skip, and it's on beat four there. Once that sounds good, we're gonna drag that out to fill up all of our space, and we're not done with it yet. We're actually gonna make a new track. On this one, we're gonna use Beanie. Now that we have Beanie created, we're literally gonna just copy and paste, and it will sit right there, and give us a little bit more powerful snare drum sound. And as the song goes on, we'll probably have to bring those down a little bit, but we'll worry about that later. Let's create another track, leave it vanilla. Let's go to the instrument. We're gonna play D and Q. Those higher sounds, we're gonna play those just on the pa, pa part. So we're gonna go rest, rest, pa, pa. Rest, rest, pa, pa. Just to add to the syncopation and the excitement of that sound. And we only need to do that once. We'll quantize to the 16th note in the piano roll. Control A, right click, 16th. Ooh, you can see I had a big change in my top notes. Apparently my fingers didn't hit at the same time. We're gonna want that to land right there and right here. They should match. And this is just gonna add to the punch on beats three. 
to make sure that it's really danceable. Once that sounds great, we're gonna slide it out to fill up all of our space. Let's give it a listen. We're now gonna add a drum set and we're gonna look for two this time, T-W-O. We're gonna go to the instrument, E and T are the notes that we're gonna add into it this time. I'm gonna play the rhythm for you and then we're gonna look at the piano roll. And so a very syncopated pattern here, control A, and we're gonna quantize to the eighth note. As you can see here, it's on the end of one, the end of two, and the end of four. I'm gonna drag it out, and then we're gonna mix that in. I'm gonna add some reverb. The next sound that I liked the most was this reverse cymbal sound that was happening right before the snare drum. And I couldn't find any sound comparable on Soundtrap. So what I did was bust out the microphone and I literally just made a shh sound into the microphone. So I'm gonna record that now and we're gonna see if I can try and blend that in to make it sound natural. So I'm gonna add a vocal part. Okay, we're gonna press record and see what happens. I have the metronome off, that's okay. All right, At the very end, I kind of snuck in like a crescendo, like a cymbal growing towards the end of the pattern. Let's listen to what happened. See if the ending sounds good. Cool. Let's throw a ton of reverb on that to make sure it's really ringy. Okay, our beat is done. Let's start adding some chords and melody to it. As always, it's kind of difficult to find the exact sound inside of Soundtrap, but we're gonna search the word red and we're gonna use red picks. Luckily, the rhythm is very simple. We just have hard hits on the downbeat of the measure, and then it just rings, so we're not gonna have to make any crazy rhythms. We're gonna start with a D flat. If you don't know what that is, right down here it says C2, and the next black key up is D flat, so we're gonna put a note right there. We're gonna go up to where it says C3 and put another D flat, F, I have missed, and A flat. All right, let me get rid of that one. Excellent. Very cool. Let's see what that sounds like. Whoa, pretty close. So we're actually gonna drag out this pattern for the eight measures, and measure three is where we need our next one to land. In measure three, we have a B flat minor chord. So we're gonna go down, there's B flat. We're gonna come up here, we're gonna stay on D flat, F, and B flat again, there we go. And I find when it's really far away from the keyboard and you're trying to guess where those notes are, just click and then start dragging and it will tell you where you are. Measure five, we're gonna put a chord, let's see what chord we're putting down. We're putting down a G flat major chord. There's G flat all the way down there. We're gonna go up to D flat, G flat, and B flat. G flat, B flat, D flat. Let's see what that sounds like. Perfect. And of course we have one more right here, bunk. A flat major. Ooh, wow, first try. There's an, our A flat. E flat. A flat. And let's throw in a C right here. So we have C, E flat, A flat. Let's see what that sounds like. Fantastic. All right, now that that sounds great, let's get out of there, and we're now gonna look for Dizzy Pluck. You can go to Synthesizer, and we'll do a quick search. Hopefully Dizzy is all I need to do. Dizzy Pluck, there we go. Okay, let's go to the piano roll. We're gonna create a part just by clicking. Make sure we drag it out to all eight measures. Find D flat, which is by the C4, and the you can see it already snapped. It'll be here when you click it. Drag it out six measures, and if you don't want to count, just leave two empty columns over here. 
in the fourth measure, so I'm sorry, in the second measure starting here, we're going to go to B flat and we're going to drag it again, stopping at the same spot. At the next group of two, find G flat. Ooh, that was, that was good. And again, you notice they're all stopping here. So we just have this build going. Ooh, A flat, forgot about you, so sorry. Okay, A flat here. If you can remember from the last time, this is where our A flat chord, A flat major chord comes in. So I'm gonna click in A flat and C. So we're ending those last two measures, have an A flat and a C ringing. All right, if that's not enough, I didn't think that personally was enough. I was gonna go in and add strings. So what we can do is copy the dizzy pluck, go to the string section and paste. What we're gonna do is control A, shift and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And it should be down an octave. And now mix that volume in so it just blends perfectly with that top sound. We don't want too much of either one. And what I'm gonna do is turn on my loop over here to make sure that when we get to the end, it goes back to the beginning. And the strings are just a little loud. I just want a hint. Fantastic. After the strings are done, we're gonna look for another synthesizer and we're gonna search for Dark Pluck. There we go, Dark Pluck. And this is gonna be the trumpet part. There's a trumpet part in this song, but in Soundtrap, I couldn't find a very good trumpet. Uh, I could find a tuba, but it doesn't sound that great up high. So I made a, uh, a choice to change the sound. And the cool part is you can make it any sound you want. It really doesn't matter as long as your rhythms match. We're gonna find the end of two and put it in A flat. When you click in that A flat, it might be the same length it was in the last uh, track. So I had to shrink it down to just one square. All right, in the E of three, we have E flat. So we have A flat on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh square, and eight, nine, ten. On the tenth square, we have E flat. And now we're gonna drag this pattern out for the remainder of the song. Now granted, this doesn't come in right away. It does come in later in the song, so you can choose to mute and unmute, or you can choose to delete the beginning and have it come in at the end. That's totally your choice. I'm bringing the volume down so it blends in. I might even up the reverb to make a little bit softer sound. Okay, we're getting down to the last three tracks. The next one I added was a bass. I went and I wanted to get that 80s sound, 80s bass. 80s 80 synth bass and we're just going to do whole notes on the correct chord so we're going to create a track in our piano roll drag it out for all eight and we're going to start way low by c2 we're going to make a d flat and drag that out for the whole measure the next one's going to be b flat g flat and A flat, okay? So there's ring the whole time. I was gonna bring the volume down, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. This is something I haven't messed with before, but there's actually vocal parts inside of your synthesizer. Uh, if you go down to the very bottom of your list, there's a vocal synth I in a vocal synth lo-fi ooze. We're actually gonna add both. And a synthesizer, go all the way to the bottom of the list. Oofs, very cool. So as we're going, we're gonna tap V. That's a, that sounds like an F in the song, which matches a majority of our chords. So I'm just gonna go through and play this however I feel. And you can play around with this as much as you want. I'm gonna go down to D for the last one. Fantastic. Let's go in and quantize, control A, right click. We're gonna do 16th note. Let's go to our last track, how exciting. So we're gonna do some harmony with this one. Let's go to our instrument, B flat, no too high. We're gonna use J and H. I'm gonna harmonize the fourth one and the eighth one. First I'm gonna press J. 
nice. And the eighth one, which is the last one, I'm gonna press H. And there you have it. Let's give it a listen all the way through. Sounds pretty accurate to me. This song was actually a request. And I was pretty bad about, <laughs> it took me a long time to make this one, not because it was difficult, but because literally with the pandemic and everything, I've been making lesson plans for my own classroom, literally. Uh, and so I'm glad we stuck it out and I'm super happy with the final product. Thank you so much for recommending this. And if you have any more requests, please put them in the comments. I promise I'm not ignoring you. Uh, it's just on my list of like, what can I do next? Uh, and a lot of times it's usually my job. But then after that, it's making these songs. So. Thank you so much for sticking with me and I'll see you later.